Hey everybody, just want to make this video to kind of show this uh, community garden here that I'm... Well, I basically run it now, so... Uh, we got a row of asparagus here that were it was put in last year, so we're just letting it go free. Um, row of broccoli that's looking fantastic. I mean, this this stuff is as good as the stuff in my yard and a lot of it too I haven't had any pest issues yet uh, some snap peas a whole lot of them four or five rows of carrots a couple mounds long mounds of potatoes I got about a third of this that needs to be planted with something else yet. I'm thinking it's going to be beets. Uh, here's some cabbage that got hit real hard by a rabbit, which I'm in the process of hunting down. Uh, a row of garlic. Uh, a row of three rows of carrots again, different kind. Um, beets and turnips, half a row of beets, half a row of turnips. Uh, these three rows here go halfway down uh, bush beans, and then the other half is corn. And this row is zucchini. And the other night we had some frost hit up here, I guess. It must have been a real light frost, but it was enough to put some damage on these leaves. If you look here, some of the new leaves are looking all right, but... And it happened to my squash, too. A uh, row, half of it, spring mix. A little bit down there. Here. Some cherry tomatoes that really aren't faring too well. Um, I think the frost hit them and transplant shock. And, you know, one of them here, this one's completely dead. But... I got a little bit of space left there. I think I'm going to throw some more beets in. Um, some more lettuce. Uh, partial row onions, which I'm going to fill in with more on onions once they get a little bigger. Uh, I've got some kale here. A little bit more cabbage, which was also hit by a rabbit. And the rest of that row is going to be more onions. Um, this row is Moscovy's. Uh, tomatoes, which I'm going to experiment with this Florida weave method of trellising. I almost thought this looked like it was... Oh, it's busted. Son of a bee. Must have been from the wind. And here yesterday I planted... It's basically one big row with four rows in it. Uh, half of its beans and half of its corn again Kind of stagger the plantings. This is all strawberries from last year And right here I just prepared Using the BCS I'm um, just getting it ready for something not quite sure what yet, but uh, Just wait that's not it We got this hoop house here. That's still under construction but mainly it's just the facades and some sidewalls and then of course the plastic so decided to plant in here i got some tomatoes intermixed with some radish and basil over here i'm waiting on my cucumbers to get a little bigger but i'll be putting cucumbers in here and i just prepared this one today also i'm going to be putting peppers in here um, probably some other things. Uh, this one we just got to put the facades on the front and back and, and uh, clean it up. It'll be done maybe in a week or so. Do have another hoop house over here. Um, in the foreground there you see a bunch of plum trees that are going to be awesome. But that hoop house, who knows what's going to happen, if that's even going to get done this year. I'm short on labor, and uh, I mean, there'll be some lulls once everything's growing. 
but by then it'll be so hot it's so, even right now it's so hard to work in this heat which is one of the reasons why I'm making this video I'm taking a bit of a break so so this area here is basically we call it the expansion um, there's a bunch of strawberries here in desperate need of weeding and they're just really overrun with grass and this is all this area that I've prepared here is all going to be squash different types um, like I was saying on the zucchini here's the aftermath of the frost that hit the other night which is just a shame because you know a lot of the squash was doing really well and now it's just decimated but uh, it'll be lots of rows of it and I see the moose and the deer are just coming through here constantly so eventually we'll get the the fencing put up and you know that'll stop all the moose activity but yeah this is this is where I work and this is what I do plant and grow well, let me know if you have any questions about this place and otherwise this is Drew and I'm checking out